We met in seventh grade, junior high. I met this cute guy. We dated. We dated all through middle school and high school, and we were just sweethearts. And I thought he was just my guy. We married uh, a year out, out of high school, actually. He was the man of my dreams, and we had a good marriage. I thought everything was OK. He was a truck driver, and he was on the road a lot. My job became a lot more important to me than anything else. We had two children. I let the world take control of me. And when Jeremy was five and Dana was two and a half, Scott left our family. Pretty much left everything behind me. From that point on, it was 20 years of downhill. When Scott was gone, I went through a lot of emotions. Remarried, divorced within two years. I remember sitting at home crying, crying at night, you know, just wondering why God isn't changing him. Remarried again, lasted five years. There were times when I'd hear about Scott and I would just get mad. There was a void in my life and I tried to fulfill that with, uh, with my job, with uh, drugs, just uh, relationships. Why would he be out there having his fun and here I am with two children being at home? What was the next thing? You go from, uh, from truck to truck, that satisfies for a little bit. I remember calling my family and telling them that I'm just tired. I'm tired of just hanging on. You know, I remember holding on to the rope, just being at the end of the rope. Nothing was going right. Man, what a mess. What a mess I had created and, you know, what a mess I was living. I was to a place in my life where my, it wasn't my desire anymore that, that he would just come back. I, I guess I, I came to a point where I was as low as I could go. The only place I could look was up. My story started to change watching my stepfather, uh, who was a, a gambler, an alcoholic, a con man all his life. Uh, seeing him come to the Lord and watching his life change, I started putting pieces together. I knew then that there was, there's more to life than what I was living. My life was going downhill just to shambles. Uh, how could I not love a Lord that can bring me back to him and, and, just, and just love me unconditionally? I had called Brenda when my stepfather passed away. Brenda came to the calling hours. We were talking and I just couldn't believe. I thought there's no way that he would have turned his life around. Why she was there for me, I have no idea. I wouldn't have been there for me. I told Scott that I need to see him walk the walk, not just do the talk. A couple weeks after that, I had asked her if she'd like to go to dinner with me. And, and that evening, I had to ask her to forgive me. He wanted to ask me to forgive him for hurting me 20 years ago. I had to know that she had forgiven me. I, you know, I, I kind of forgave him before, but I never thought I would get the chance to tell him, you know, to tell him that, yes, I do forgive you. And it was only through God that I could forgive him. We, we started talking more texting more, uh, going out to dinner more, and uh, she was she was pretty much uh, feeling me out. I, I didn't even know if I wanted to get back with him, but I was so impressed that he was loving God, you know, that he was putting God first in his life. I can't believe what an idiot I was and how stupid I was forever walking away from a wife that I had and a mother to my children. And so in 2008, we got remarried with our kids' blessings. And it hasn't been easy, but the relationships are being restored. I'm so blessed to, that God has given me a second chance. I, I feel like I, God has given me my wife, my family, give me a life, and just and give me help in life every day. Things are different now than they were before because we let uh, God lead us in our lives. And one of the places God led us when we got back together was to New Point. God is using New Point to make a difference in our family by just being an encouragement to us when we go through a lot of things in our life. 
We can come to New Point and be encouraged by the people we see and by the messages we hear. I'm Scott. And I'm Brenda. And, and that's, that's our story. story.